Show me something that I've never seen before Cause I don't want to see it all again Don't want to see it all burn down These memories Like fragments on a page My memories Upon that crystal stage These memories That I have gave away Hello my little worms, I'm Day, and welcome back to Day Completes Arknights, the series in which I try to actually make progress in the Arknight story, one level at a time. And the level we're attacking today is... 7-10, Flames of the Faint. Sarkaz warriors have entered this battlefield, but be wary, they don't seem to be from the same faction as the Gorillas. They even seem to draw inspiration from the Erygnia Motors. Oh, that does seem a little concerning because those periodically emit pulse waves to the shining tiles, damaging both allied and enemy units. They draw inspiration from the altars that damage everyone. Uh-oh. And now it's time to start the mission. Uh, do we want to change out anyone in the squad? Hmm. You know what? Let's change out Ling uh, to this name, which I don't actually know the pronunciation of, but I got them recently. So, sure, I've never used them. But yes, uh, P -P Pazemka? Maybe for Zemka. Sure. Let's bring them in. Uh, I haven't maxed out their ability yet, but I could definitely use some more trust on them so I can unlock the module. So, let's uh, go! Hello, Kalsit. Guard, explain yourself. <laughs> I must look exactly like a reunion member, huh? So you know each other? Right. So everything this court has said was a lie. You and Reunion have always been on the same side. Isn't that right? Dot 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 dot! Tati, did you find any food? The people in the shelter don't have long. What more do you want from me? Let's get you to someplace safe first. Stay away from her, guard! I'm staying back. I know things might be hard to explain, but we have to be careful. All the Ursus here became infected of no fault of their own, and they've had a tough time. Most of them are already on the verge of mental breakdown. All it takes is someone to push them over the edge. We've had it tough? You're psycho murderers, sadistic freaks! Because of you. Look what happened to me! Look what I've become! But if you don't leave right now, the devils will find you. You'll be handed over to Reunion. Patriot's troops have completely pulled out of this area. If you're caught, I can't save you at that point. Then just let me die. I'd rather die than watch you monsters run rampant. What about gorillas or the so-called Aegis of the Infected? Are they any different from the rest of Reunion? They are. Without them, we'd be dead already. Tell me then, right now. If they're just trying to do the right thing, why are they still with Reunion? Why'd they do this to our homes? Why aren't they rebelling? Why aren't they walking out? Why did they do all this, even knowing we've been spat on, persecuted, and killed? Why didn't your great gorillas fight back against the patrolling devils? Why? I watched them. They used their own hands to rip, tear, Patriot can't be everywhere at once. When Patriot has to command his forces to defend the sanctity of life, something has gone horribly wrong. But as long as the gorillas still continue to pass through this area, I can assure you that the truly wicked in Reunion will not set foot here. That is the difference between Reunion's thugs and Patriot's gorilla warriors. Patriot and the Sarkaz as a whole are much more disciplined than Reunion's ranks. Where are they then? Why aren't they here? When they left, the other infected was so much worse. So cruel! How is that not their fault? If not for the gorillas, they never would have turned us against us like that. Right? They're just out for revenge on the gorillas. You're wrong. The gorillas did the right thing. And while, as you said, some may be trying to take revenge on the gorillas, they gave you a chance to survive. So Reunion is retaliating against them. That is all. No, they did more than that. One might even say they're defending your dignity. 
I saw it with my own eyes. I saw the soldier telling the others to call you by your names rather than your numbers. Isn't that right? Dot, 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 dot. And the reason they left us alone was so that we could help you when they're away. Chernobog has already been cut up into many pieces. There are some pee, piece, pee, pee. <laughs> there are some pee, pee. Oops, that's not what I meant. The, don't repeat that specific letter, B. There are some places that the gorillas are stationed, but also many where they are not. If no one can maintain discipline, then if you want to survive, you can only depend on us. And that's even assuming we survive. Amia. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? <laughs> yes. Good job, me. Good job. Amia. Do you believe what I said just now? Dot, 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 dot. Is that a yes or a no? It's it's just dots. That that could be either. That genuine. That hmm. No. Carter's girl. Look, look. He's reunion. How can you believe anything coming from reunion? And what about me? Am I supposed to buy into their bullshit now that I'm infected? Look, the people you said wanted to murder us. Aren't they reunion? Now that I'm infected, is Reunion suddenly going to take me in and treat me better? How the hell am I supposed to know who's who? And which one of you is going to kill me? You? Reunion? All of you should just... Should just... Amia. Dr. Calcet? Don't get worked up. Calcet? Calcet, we should keep moving. You. Why... Why are you here? You of all people! Are you... Trying to eradicate reunion completely? Rhodes Island, you you really know better. Hmm? Forget that for now. The Sarkaz mercenary patrol is going to pass through this warehouse soon. If we don't deal with them, or at least hide, they're going to find us and take us away. Not to mention the regular reunion patrols. We don't have much time to find supplies. That's why so many are starving and short on medicine. There's a lot of death among the people of Chernobog. Amia, Dr. Calcet, also... Dr. Day, I really hope you can trust me. Or at least find somewhere to hide. Guard. Do you have a name? Because calling you Guard is just, It's a little awkward, if I'm being honest. Infected Ursus Woman. Do you have a name? Because again, this is a little awkward to be referring to you as Guard and Infected Ursus Woman. Dot 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 Do you mean me? Yes! The Infected Ursus Woman. Give me your name. And then perhaps there'll be less confusion in future. Uh, inf infected? So it's not infected, that's infected. <laughs> Interesting. Infected Ursus Woman. I have some honest questions for you. Y y your accent. You're from the capital of the Empire, aren't you? But the way you speak, it's so old fashioned. You're educated. I, I was a copyist at a university before. It's all... it's all gone now. Thanks, you infected. Alright. Do you trust the man behind you? Our infected former employee, now with Reunion. Huh? He's... your employee? One of Rhodes Island's functions is helping innocent infected survive in a combat environment. Whether or not you are innocent remains to be seen. However... Huh? da 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 da, -da. Hello, uh, monster. <laughs> Dr. Kelzit! What are you doing? You, 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 what is... Mm. Never thought I'd see a day when monster was after me. The blade pressed against your throat has an incision angle of only eight degrees, another six millimeters deeper, and it severs an artery. Miss. Um, uh... Did he truly work so hard to ensure your survival, as he so claimed? What are you asking? What are you getting at? Did he, and his reunion element, or any part thereof, threaten your life or take any action to harm you? I will deal with him in accordance with your response. Are you threatening me with his life? I... we... we had nothing to do with each other! What about him individually? Did he go along with Reunion and their crimes against humanity? Doctor, Calzit, I'm insulted! I can only rely on the words of eyewitnesses and victims. 
Since you claim to have guaranteed her right to life, then I have only the young lady's testimony by which to adjudicate your claim. You gave only your side of the story. But what she says is also, she's in a different position. You have power. You can use violence. It doesn't matter what you did with that violence. I felt it. Amir, it's the Sarkaz. The targets are getting close. Could, but, but he? Did he or did he not protect you from reunion? Did he or did he not effectively keep you safe from their aggression? Dr. Calcet, the patrol is here. It's not, it's not the gorillas. You can't. Don't let them. You're not making any sense. I am confident our actions are well within the ethical parameters of Ursus. It was you who made the accusation against him. He, he, he did go out regularly, about this time. Dr. Calcet, let me stop the Sarkaz, or at least let me get them to go someplace else. I need an answer. Speak, or we will never know the truth. 24 meters out, in a straight line. Very close. Dot, 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 dot. 22 meters. Monster. Dr. Calcet! No. No. He didn't. He didn't do anything wrong. At least... At least nothing I saw. Amia. Doctor. Uh, 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 <laughs> you put on a good show. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Darn it! Dr. Calzit, I, I knew it! Let's go, Doctor. Our next target is Reunion Sarkaz Patrol Team. I'm coming too. Guard, was it? You're wrong about me. But I'll protect you. I'll get your revenge for you. They'll pay for what they did to you. And my family. And the common people. They'll all pay. For all of it. Alright, and here we are in the level. I should remember to remove the thing at the top. There we go. What's going on? Those Sarkas soldiers aren't being harmed by the ritual structures. Ah. Damn it. Are they even getting more fierce after being exposed to that stuff? Oh, that's not good. If they get stronger after they're exposed to the altar. Uh, may maybe I should avoid that. This all makes sense now. These mysterious Sarkaz rituals really do have a different effect on the Sarkaz. Uh oh. So they're going to be coming through here. So we don't want them ending up up there. What's that? We're not going to be able to stop them from getting to this square is the problem. So that's not great. Uh, who are we going to place down? Uh, immediately, I think I want you here. Because I think it's outside of that range. Uh, you are going here, facing downwards. And now we wait for the DP, please. Uh, this doesn't extend down past there, does it? No. So we're going to be putting Blaze down. Uh, but where? Here? Yes, I think that works as a good position. Because that doesn't hit here, so that's a good spot to put a healer, I think. Uh, use your ability now to get some more DP so we can do stuff with that. Uh, which healer are we putting down? Uh, probably this one, because then I can potentially try to heal a uh, larger area. The only problem is we can't heal up there effectively because it's only that single square, which we can't put a unit on, so that's not ideal. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm rethinking that. Uh, that's also not helpful, though. We can't hit you from there. What if we heal you from here? Uh, that could work. I'm, I'm willing to give that a shot. Should we try out you? Since I have not actually used you at all. So sure, I was going to put Exia there, but why not? Let's put you there. Uh, you have a typewriter, which I don't really entirely know how a lot of this works. Uh, it's got to be within four tiles adjacent to increased effect. Uh, it should be fine, because like, we could probably just do like this. What I wanted to know is, does it actually use a unit? It doesn't seem like it does. Okay, I'll leave that up there then. I don't really care about putting it anywhere near here at the moment. Uh, it'll be helpful if someone gets through if it reduces their defense though. Uh, neither of these are currently up, so we can't do anything with that. Okay, what does your ability do? Uh, expands, and your attacks deal more damage. Sure, why not? This seems like a moment where that might be helpful. Uh, someone is coming up the top now. You seem to actually have dealt with them perfectly fine, so thank you, typewriter. Uh, I want potentially Mudrock here. I think that would just be better. Alright, the typewriter is gone, because of course it's only a temporary thing. I think it lasts 20 seconds, was it? Uh, how many enemies are coming through the bottom right now? Uh, not an absurd number. So it should be fine, they can deal with that pretty easily. Uh, hmm. 
That'll be a problem if I put a range. If a ranged unit comes through, it'll be a problem. But I want to do this. So there's no way I can heal Exia. So there's the possibility that Exia is not going to survive being there. But it all depends on if a ranged unit comes through. But at least she'll be taking these out quicker until then. Uh, are you ranged? I don't think so. At the very least, you're not attacking Exia, so that is good. Uh, let's get ourselves some more of that then. Okay, okay. So, uh, we've got this, but we don't really have anywhere we can put it. It's something I can panic place if someone's getting through, I guess? Uh, we could try to put something more up the top, because we're very heavily defending this bottom section. Uh, but we don't have a healer up here. The problem is I would like to put Lapland in this single square behind Mudrock right now, but then Lapland's just going to slowly die. So my only real solution is to put Lapland here, which only gets a single square out in front, but should still help. Because the problem is that Mudrock doesn't have as high an attack as like what we're dealing with down here. With like a 1,600 with, you know, a 900, and also XE over here with a 700. So we kind of need more than the 800 off the top to try to make this a bit more even. So that helps maybe a little. Uh, we should be good anyway, though. There's not too many units left, so unless something really powerful comes in at the end, we should hopefully be good. Uh, three left. Two left. What are they gonna be? What are they gonna be? Uh-huh. Just you. Okay, that's not that bad, and you're not even gonna be able to do anything. Uh, yeah, your radius is not gonna have that reach there, unfortunately. Uh, Exia has mostly finished them. Mudrock will probably end them. Uh, there's one down. And... Mission accomplished. The ritual has no effect on these Sarkaz, but our Sarkaz operators aren't immune. Why? Probably something about the ritual itself? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they've got something on them? Uh, a object that makes them immune? Uh, a symbol? A spell or something cast on them? Something about the ritual itself? Maybe they're from a specific bloodline and it's different to just a generic uh, Sarkaz in general? Uh, I don't know, there's, uh, there's a lot of reasons potentially why. Perhaps we'll find out why in particular. Maybe they've been experimented on in some sort of weird, twisted experiment to make them immune to the effects. All highly possible. But they didn't look like they were with the gorilla team. Strange. Was Montus? Thank you. I'm going on patrol. Don't thank me. Like Amir always says, you don't thank people for doing their jobs. Fair, unless their job is typically like saving your life. Uh, Cause like, still they did their job, but also they literally saved your life. You should probably thank them. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. The effects of the Oropathy inhibitor will take a while to show, but for now you should be feeling a lot less pain. Take the medicine back to the others. There isn't much, probably only enough for one dose, but it will help with acute symptoms. Did you really come to help us? I'm sorry, but we can't help you much more than this. We have to defeat the leader of Reunion before we can do anything else. Also, if Reunion breaks into a full-scale riot again, I think we won't be able to handle them. All of those things I said to you, I, I, I wasn't like this before. I used to hate you people, <laughs> but now I'm like you. <laughs> Everyone hates me too. <laughs> very nearly killed him. But without his help, he might already be dead. But every time he let us go find supplies, someone died. I thought for sure that was proof he was working with Reunion to toy with us. Even though we're already infected. <laughs> Does Reunion really hate us so much? People don't need much to indulge in the ugliest side of their nature. Just giving them free reign can contaminate every part of a city. Calcet, you scared me. Amir, you shouldn't be letting these games get the better of you. Just once or twice is enough. You'll spoil our plans if you waste so much time talking. So, Dr. Calcet, if she lied, were you really going to kill me? I, I didn't lie though. Hypothetically, not every infected is so honest after they've been hurt. I've acted on impulse before myself. Um... <sighs> of course not. 
You're a Rhodes Island operator. I trust you over all others. Let's call it a form of psychological treatment for her. Naturally, the way you and she responded to it proved your innocence. But I... That look on your face was so... Dark and terrifying. I really thought you were going to do it. Your act was way too convincing. Sounds fine to me. I wouldn't do it, but I'd like to make people think that I would. Dr. Calcid, you really pushed it. No more terrorizing guard. Does guard have a name? <laughs> fine. Don't worry, guard. If she did go too far, I would have stepped in to stop her. Did all that spike your emotional state? Should I help you re recuperate? Oh, no need. I'd be awful weak if I needed the Amia treatment after just that. After all, the one I really worry about is the little one standing by the door. Dot, 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 dot. But even that's looking better. She and I sorted things out, and I think I get it. But I still can't let go of the time she split a person clean in half with a sweep of a claymore. That's going to be with me my whole life. Oh, I know the incident you're talking about. Guard. Did you know she saved four civilian lives during that operation? That the military was testing weapons on them? She killed an abandoned weapons-grade experimental caster they brought in from a Sargon slaver. And it, was, it was not they brought in, I don't know where the in came it's they'd bought. <laughs> they'd bought from a Sargon slaver. The entire batch of casters had their pituitary glands surgically removed. Is that important for their, like, weapons? Whatever. The glands were replaced with an uranium device that kept them moving without input from their own nervous systems. They were already dead. Oh no, that's not great. <laughs> Only Rosmontus, with her unique fighting style, could destroy the experimented infected organs. She did nothing wrong. So that's what happened. Guard, I think you misjudged Rosmontus the same way that young lady misjudged you. What do you look like and any rumours going around about you? Uh, anyone's first window into your personality. No matter what you do, 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 no matter what you did, they'd be looking at you as reunion first. But if we never got past the surface, we'd never know anything. Let alone, let alone, let alone, let alone, I'm getting worse and worse at reading as this goes on, learn to trust. If no one tries to find the truth, no matter how hard we work to sow its seeds, they won't germinate. And anyway, Rosmontus is right in front of you. Why don't you just... ask her? A ask her? What do you want to ask? Rosmontus sure is scary. I think she's adorable. Um, not like that. She won't know what to say. Da -da 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 -da. Rosmontus, what are you here for? My mission. And, like I said, getting revenge. For my family. Aha. Uh -huh. So what are you here for? My mission. Your mission being? Uh, missions. Missiony things. You know, the mission. The one where you do the mission. The missiony stuff. Yeah, I paid attention in briefing. I'm done asking. But I don't even know what I asked. I was angry at Azazel before. Now I was rude to Rosmontus. Ha! Huh. What a mess I am. But you trust Patriot. Tell us about Patriot and his gorillas, and about Reunion. I'm pretty sure Dr. Calcet and Dr. Day here can make sense of it. The only reason there's anyone still left alive, why so many Ursus were able to make it through Chernobog, is because Patriot and his gorillas, and the people who respect them. When the gorilla fighters were around, there was peace. Nobody dared to raise a hand against anybody else. Not only did they hand out supplies and resources, but they even worked to make the locals' lives a little better. Patriot was going to let me leave the city, but I decided to stay, to see how things turned out. I overheard him talking to the leader of Azazel. I think even if it's all an act, he's at least working hard to keep up the act. Also, uh, Mr. Scout died there to protect me. P Patriot respected Mr. Scout. I... Scout was an operator who sacrificed himself in Chernobog. Scout! Where's Montes? What happened to Scout? I... Why can't I remember? He died? He... This emptiness... Is that him? Scout... I forgot again... But I just... Terminal... How could I forget again? 
January 3rd. An old man with white hair brought a charred blackened object. Mechanist couldn't stand after seeing it. The old man nodded and left. Dr. Calcet didn't say anything, only patted my head. It was Scout's. Scout. Scout has gone too. Scout was the one who didn't even have a shadow, wasn't he? Wouldn't he be the one who came back even when everyone else died? Wasn't he the one with the never-ending story? Scout. I searched the logs. Scout made me a bow. But that's a toy for little girls. They don't play with toys anymore. Why did Scout die? Why? 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 Dot 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 dot. Rosmontus. Give me your hand. Close your eyes, Rosmontus. Dot 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 dot. Turns out elite operators aren't that different from my teammates. Dr. Day, I've got something to say. On your rescue operation, a uh, scout led the recon team. He never knew you like you are now, but he said he knew you before, like Ace. He held back the Sarkaz mercenaries to save my life. Knowing Scout, he could have easily gotten out if he wanted to. He told me to tell you something. Right, I remember it. He said he would never forget fighting by your side. Question mark? Huh. He also wanted you to stop being a commander. But things being what they are, I think you probably can't just sit by and watch. No, I'm okay with this. <sighs> do, 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 da, 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 do. I should probably keep reading, shouldn't I? Yeah, that seems important. Boss sacrificed himself to save me too. That means I've got two elite operators' lives on my shoulders. But Mr. Scout said they didn't die for any one person. They died for an idea. His team did, and so did mine. So I decided to look into a reunion. I had to see where things were going, and how I could help Rhodes Island. I saw the gorillas had their own idea, a firm, pure conviction that they were fighting for. They were a little more savage, of course, but they never found joy in violence. That's what I saw in them. If reunion was supposed to be about liberating the infected, then the gorillas, they were there to exterminate their oppressors. They'd exterminate those who enslave the infected, and those who threaten the common folk, all of them to a man. That's because of Patriot. Patriot taught them, led them, and protected them. Before Patriot set out from Chernobog on a mission, I had a talk with him. <sighs> Just how old is that warrior? But he still shared some of his booze with me. It was the first time anybody treated me like that. He may indeed be much older than you think. Have you heard the legend about him leaving Ursus? I have. He led an entire elite division out of Ursus. The Great Rebellion proved to be fertile ground for all sorts of things that otherwise would have been absurd. The truth is, there aren't many of those soldiers he led out of Ursus left. Their clashes with the Ursus regulars must have cost them a lot of men. Most of his guerrillas are fresh recruits, people who volunteered to join when they fought in the Northwest Tundra. Their battles, their prestige, and their ideals are all won them recruits. They used to work well with the leader of Reunion, but for some reason may be related to the burning hate the infected have for the people of Ursus. Things turned out like this. It is what it is. Everyone alive today suffers catastrophes, madness, and death. All kinds of suffering that this world heaps upon them. Tatiana. I remember your name is Tatiana. That's right. Does your knee hurt? What's that? Three days ago, you tripped trying to run away. It, it got better a while ago. I, I'm Ursus. I'm not like whatever your race is. Us Ursus are much sturdier. I'm glad. It looked pretty nasty. <sighs> Here I am, doing a medic operator's job without any training. I've got a lot on my plate, Dr. Calzit. I understand. Hmm. Medic didn't come with you. Why bring her up? Don't worry about it. I can tell by the look on Rosmontus' face what happened. We've lost a lot of people, but... <laughs> Red Zion fights on. I'm getting the impression that you don't know the core city is on a collision course with Lungman. Da -da 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 -da. What? <laughs> oh, are you talking about helping the reunion forces at the Battle of Lungman? Moving the core city is reunion's only play. I heard about that. The core city is broadcasting an Ursus identification code. Huh? What? Hold up. No way, that, that doesn't make any sense. 
Now you know why we're here. What's the problem? Makes the Rhodes Island hand gesture for quiet. What's the Rhodes Island hand gesture for quiet? Shh. <laughs> Nothing. You've been talking so long. If Patreon's men are as good as you say, why is Reunion still running amok here in Ursus? Because Reunion shouldn't be doing this. Huh? So much huh? So much confusion. Guard. Still, I'm sure you have a name, Guard. I'm sure you have a name. <laughs> I think you would be a great help to our operation, since you're familiar with both the local infected and reunion. Would you be willing to rejoin our team? Dot 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 dot. Oh, but you can't leave yet, can you? Right, I'm I'm sure you can tell just by looking at me. <laughs> right, Emir. Sorry, I I know I'm about a decade older than you, but sometimes you make me feel like a kid. No need to blame yourself. I can even say Rhodes Island will honor your work. But you're in a very dangerous position. Guard, if Reunion falls here, your work to save the infected and maintain their basic living conditions will become much more difficult. Are you at all worried that could come to pass? No, I'm not. Because Reunion has Patriot. As long as he's here, Reunion won't fall. A lot of guerrilla fighters left camp and gathered up. I'm thinking that's because he may be back already. And if he's here, I believe Reunion can still change. But Reunion lacks the impetus to change. Looking at the evidence, Tallulah has certainly not devoted herself to the cause. Chernobog's core city, the ruins of Chernobog back there, and the Ursus infected. We can't forget that the Ursus Third Army is still out there waiting to act. That will make everything drastically worse. But I know Reunion is relatively strong, and there are a few things Rhodes Island can't handle. This is one of those things. Rhodes Island is a corporation, Dr. Kalzat has been very clear about that, time and again. I believe in Boss, and Mr. Scout. And I believe in Patriot. I know. Aren't you mad, Amir? Why should I be mad at you, over things we can't do, and things we haven't done? So much happened these past two weeks, we've all changed a lot. But we're not about to turn on each other because of the infected. I think all that happened in Chernobog and what Gard and I saw were the same. Correct. I still can't stand hurting people like that. No matter who's doing it to who, I won't stand for it. If Patriot wants to clean house and reunion, I have to stand with him, with his men, and with all the reunion members who believe in Patriot. We do not consider your new way of thinking to be a threat to our interests. In fact, we encourage all our operators to learn more about the outside world, seek out their own goals, and build their self-confidence. Our ideas are constantly changing. Thank you, Dr. Calcet. Amir. Oh, yes. You can also contact the doctor later. Happy to be of help. As for my responsibilities at Rhode Island, uh, Amir, Dr. Kalzit, will, will they be more important? I wouldn't put it that way, Garn. It's more important to decide for yourself what you want to do. And personally, I think that any of us would have done the same in your position. Different people make different choices. If something's important to you, it's important. I hope you find a place for yourself among these Ursus, like you wanted. I hope you can protect those deserving of protection. Dot 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 dot. But why are you looking at me? I'm not. No reason, just, just thinking. Oh yes. Regarding your pay, I'm afraid your work here doesn't support a salary. Sorry. Also, guard, please do tell me. If Patriot betrays Delula, what happens then? That won't happen. Patriot trusts Tallulah deeply. Now what about the other way around? Does Tallulah trust Patriot is what you're getting at? Hmm. Does Tallulah trust anyone is my concern. Dr. Calcet? What if Tallulah betrays Patriot? Or, what if I told you we encountered the reunion commander Frostnova and by any objective measure are responsible for her death? Dr. Calcet? What are you saying? That's Patriot's daughter! If we fight Patriot, that would be the worst case scenario. And it's what the puppet masters would want. If Tallulah really is turning a blind eye to, or even allowing the infected to harm innocent civilians in spite of Patriot's stance, I believe that's no longer just turning a blind eye. A lot of infected will make Patriot into a target. Those who don't know the truth, and those who let their hatred get the better of them. And those who want to. Dot, 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 dot. I... I have to go. 
I have to tell Patriot. But... Rhodes Island... Will he be... Your enemy? Probably. <laughs> Just being honest, it pro it'll probably end up that way. I didn't think things would turn out like this. It's not the obvious step for a reunion to take. Whether Misha or Frostnova. Us, Reunion, and Langman too. We can't let anyone else slip through the cracks. Doctor, we still have a lot to do. Just thinking of what comes next is making me tired. But before that, we have to find Madame Chien. And, most importantly, the leader of Reunion. She's the cause of all of this. Right. Team Mantra 2, come in. The captain has determined Reunion's communication method. It's primitive, even artificial looking. As for personnel, she's just about done clearing the area. Not the gorillas, though. They're tough. Should we eliminate them? No need for that. We're not here to eliminate them, or have them butcher each other. We're not here to stir up internal conflict. They should oppose those who misled them. Now? That's her question. I'm good. Naturally, not now. Their spirit is rotten, but their fabrication of a backbone still remains. Take it away or break it, and watch them crumble. That's what we might have done at first. Tallulah was a step ahead of us. She stirred the conflict and fanned its flames. I originally thought that she had gone mad. But this is poison, not madness. But is it Sparta? It could be Sparta. The infected and the people of the city will surely rise up. Tallulah gave them the chance to intermingle and build bridges. She must still have a queen on the board, or she wouldn't be so bold. I firmly believe that she wants to destroy Reunion in the most dishonorable possible way. And this is a poison that we must neutralize. But all this hinges on what... What is this bloody name? Uh, Bold Rockass T decides to do. Mm. It looks like we've successfully infiltrated the core city. Because what we do next can hardly be called an infiltration, Dr. Day. As I said, when we started, infiltration is only about 20% of our plan here. To get to the core command tower and the generator area to halt Chernobog's movement, we will have to go through the central district. Now, the enemies in our path are not your run-of-the-mill reunion, nor are they brutish sarcas sellswords. Reunion's running low on leaders. Let's put W aside for now. As a tactician, you should be more concerned with this than about Cthulhu. Reunion's tyrant. The infected gorillas of the Northern Plains, a thorn in the hinterland of Ursus's fourth army to the northwest. Since its formation, it has only ever had one leader. Ordinary resistance fighters get slaughtered, but these gorillas were able to turn the tables on the butchers. Local stakeholders could request the mobilization of a division or two to knock them out, but it would be taken as an admission of incompetence to the generals and the state council. The war raged for so long that the infected hiding out in the snow came to call the gorillas their Aegis. The Aegis of the infected. The Yeti squad was one of its subsets, and its members did not solely consist of infected. The exiles, the fanatics, the maimed, elves, Jurin, and sarcas. The gorillas did not fight for the infected alone. Sounds familiar. Oh? Uh, it's, it's exactly what you're thinking. What if, what if? Just like Rhodes Island, yes? Just as before, Rhodes Island will benefit from your intuition, Dr. Day. Uh, uh alright, um, I thought you wouldn't appreciate that. Would you rather I didn't? Not particular. You want me to reprimand you, Dr. Day? No, definitely not. Definitely not in a kinky way. <clears throat> uh, not now. I don't think you do. And I don't think there's anything wrong with what you said. In an unexpectedly apt analogy, the gorilla fighters also trust only one commander, and embrace only that one commander. Yes, Doctor, this gorilla force is another sort of Rhodes Island. But their leader? No. Doctor Day, prepare yourself well, or you'll regret it. Even though one of our objectives is to clear a path through the Central District to the bridge and the generator area, for your own safety, I still hope you and Amir will not face him. But if this is all inevitable, then I can only repeat what I just said. Prepare yourself well, Dr. Day. And before you face him, you must prepare to face his gorillas. I rarely offer my advice to others, Doctor. But that is Patriot. Oh yeah, so Patriot is this uh, name that is so annoying to try to pronounce. 
Bold Rock has tea. <laughs> Probably very wrong, but yes. <sighs> Still, another block? No, no. I have to. I have to tell Patreon. <sighs> if Talil... <sighs> if Talil lets these people strike at the gorillas, then... Whew, then the gorillas, they... Well, they, they, they will be killed by their own patriot. Patriot is the only level-headed one left in reunion. Where do you think you're going? You, Sarkaz. What brigade are you with? And what business do you have in the Central District? Explain it to me. Oh, well, maybe you're with the old Wendigo. You, the prey ran right up to me on his own. What did you learn, weak little infected outlander? Uh huh. Oh, and I guess with that, we are done with this level. Woo! Now, I wonder how this is going to end up going. So, we got to get through the gorillas to try to make it to, I guess, the T Tallulah at some point, maybe? Like, is that the goal? Like, we want to get to the generator thing to stop the city from moving. We might have some sort of confrontation with Tallulah. But maybe not. I can't I can't say for certain if that's going to happen or not. She might like leave before we reach her, or maybe we'll see her briefly, or maybe she'll destroy us. Hard to say. Hmm. Anyway, my third is dead. I should do the outro. <sighs> anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and why not subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And ring that notification bell. It does something, and I still don't know what. And follow me on Twitter for updates and to see my thumbnails in a larger size, as well as announcements of the streams, whenever those happen. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next level, which I believe is 7-11, right? <laughs> Probably. I'm still bad with numbers. I think this is 7-10. Maybe. <laughs> For now, goodbye, everybody, and roll the outro. I gave that bastard what he deserved. A funeral. fit for a king.